Hello everybody, I'm GHG and today I'm gonna show you how to create this custom join and quit message. For this tutorial I expect that you already got everything installed. If you didn't do so I will leave a link down in the description to another video of somebody else that already explains how to set up your whole project, how to install Eclipse, how to install the Spigot API. It will be clear there. I do not expect you to have any professional experience in coding. You need to know how a program looks, but you don't need to be a professional. I'm not a professional as well. So don't mind if you make any mistakes. If you do have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. Let's get coding. So to get started, we're going to create a new Java project. You do this by right clicking this panel over here, going to new Java project. I'm going to call mine join quit message, but you can name it anywhere you like it and click finish. Now we must make sure that the join quit message includes uh, the, the Spigot API. So we're going to go right click on the join quit message. Re we're going to go to the build path, configure build path. Now select libraries, add external jars and add your jar. If you use the same way I did, you need to gonna sh you're going to need to shade it. Okay, this means that the Java project now knows everything the, the Spigot API has pre-programmed, so we can use that. Next thing we want to do is create a package. So go to your source, right click, new, package. I'm going to call mine ghg.plugin.join. Make sure it's un unique because if there's multiple of these packages with the same name, your plugins won't work. Now, what we need is to create our main Java class. You can either do this by right clicking your package, new class, or at the top, new Java class. Call this main. Click finish. There's an, one other thing that our plugin needs it's the plugin.yml. So we're gonna select our top folder, new file. We're gonna call it plugin.yml. Finish. A plugin.yml needs a couple of things. Uh, first, it needs the name of the plugin, which is going to be join quit message. Then it needs to know where it should start looking for code it, in the main. So it's ghg.plugin.join.main. Then it needs to know the version, 1.0, the author. It's going to be me, ghg, and the commands, which is going to be empty because we do not have any commands yet. So, we're going to control S to save and close. Inside the main, you, you now need to have opened your main. And we're going to extend it from Java plugin. Java plugin. Now, it will return an error because we did not tell the, the code what Java plugin is. So, we're going to import it. And now it knows, say, make sure that you always import org bucket because it might cause problems otherwise. So, next thing we need to overwrite two functions. We need to overwrite the onEnable, which will be called when uh, the server starts. And we need to overwrite the onDisable, public void onDisable, which will be called when the server stops. Next thing we want to do is to have our, have our plugin know that it should listen to uh, to, to events that happen on your server. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna tell it to implement uh, the listener. It's, it's a class from the from the, the reference libraries, so the Spigot API. And we, we're going to import it. You can either do this by hovering over it and then clicking the import or the bucket.event or Ctrl Shift O is a handy shortcut uh, but make sure you always do org the bucket because otherwise it might return problems and since we implemented the listener we need to do something else so on the enable we need to get the server and then we need to get the plugin handler get plugin uh, manager I mean manager and then we need to register uh, all the events so we need to tell the server that it should send all the events to our plugin and the listener is going to be this and the plugin is going to be this as well yep, no caps this as well uh, this makes sure that the server sends us the events that happen 
uh, sends the plugin, the events that happen, uh, so that it can li listen to it. Next thing we want to do is create an event handler, since we want to handle with the event. And the event we want to handle with is when a player joins. So I'm going to call this method on player join. And it's a it's it's a player join event. It's it's again it's from the, the the from the reference library, and we're gonna call the player join event e. So, and you can either and then import it. I'm gonna use Control Shift O. I'm gonna check org the bucket. Yeah, only org the bucket. Uh, we now know when a player joins, but we do not know which player yet. So we need to get the player. We're gonna call it player p. It's just abbreviation of player, and it's it's gonna be the the event that knows where the player I what player it is so we're gonna ask the event hey event dot get player so we now know which player joined the server again we need to implement import it make sure it's or the bucket and the next thing we want to do is set the event to set the join message uh, player dot get name it returns the player's name plus um, make sure you use the spacebar here otherwise the name and the sentence we're about to type will stick to each other and will look really ugly so we got to set the join message to player.getName plus uh, welcome to my server you can do anything you like in here make sure it's it's within those brackets and um, that's it for the join message now we're gonna do the same thing for the quit message so we're gonna create another event handler public void on player quit it's not player leave it's a player quit event not a player leave event Make sure you use the player quit event, not leave. Then do, and we're gonna call it E again. Next thing, we want to know which player quit. So P E dot get player. Oh, make sure you implement player quit event. Check up above, is it org the bucket? Yes, then you're doing great. And then we want to, uh, the, the P now gives an error because it tells us, hey, uh, you did not use it. You look, the value of the local variable P is not used. So don't worry about these errors. Gonna fix it now. Gonna do e dot set quit message. Gonna get the name of the player, and then we're gonna add has left the server with a sad little smiley. And that's it. That's your uh, that's your coding done. Now we just need to export it to your server. So right click on your join quit message, export, uh, choose Java, jar file. Next, exclude the dot project and the dot class path. Um, I already had it. Uh, I've done it before the video, of course, to check if it works. But you're gonna call it join quit message dot jar within your uh, server's plugin map, and then join and then save and finish. And that's it for the coding part. Uh, we'll now check it on the server. See you there. So we're inside Minecraft now, I've started up my server with our own custom plugin, and let's see. Well, there you have it, your own join, your own custom join message, and the quit messages works as well. You will see, if you try it out on your own server, that will work. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did so, please uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, see you next time.